In the last couple of videos, we've dealt with variables and we started to take a look at data types and we have examined strings. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the other major data type, numerics. Now, there are three types of numerics. There are integers, floating points, and complex numbers. In this video, we're gonna deal with the first two, the integer and floating point numerics. Those are the most widely used. We'll deal with complex numerics a lot later on in this series. So first we're gonna take a look at integers. Now integers are basically just whole numbers and a lot of other programming languages support these numbers and so does Python. And these can be either positive or negative, but they do not contain decimal points. These are just simply whole numbers. And so let's go ahead and define an integer variable and we're just gonna assign a value of 19. Now it's a good time to talk about a very important built-in function called the type function. And Python supplies a lot of great built-in functions. And we've already dealt with some of these in the previous videos. We dealt with some of those functions that converted everything to lowercase and uppercase and several other built-in functions. So I'll keep introducing these throughout the series when we need to talk about them. And this is a good one to know about. It's actually excellent for debugging purposes. So if you're not sure what's being returned in terms of the data type, you can use the type function. So let's go ahead and we'll actually print it out. And then we just type in type and it takes one argument and all we need is the object, which in this case is X, our variable right here. So let's go ahead and execute this. And there you can see it returned the data type, which in this case is int. And that is correct. This is not a floating point or complex number. It's just an int numeric. So again, this is very useful for debugging purposes if you want to determine the data type that's being returned. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of the type and we're just gonna go ahead and print out our whole number. And then let's go ahead and execute this again. And there you can see we got a return of 19, which is what we expected. Now there is really no limit to the length of your whole number. You can make this as long as you want. We can just keep typing here. And if we go ahead and execute this, you can see it returned this very lengthy number. The only thing is the longer this is, the more overhead you'll add to your program. And as I said, Python will support negative whole numbers as well. So let's go ahead and put in negative 999 or something. And let's go ahead and execute that. And you can see we got the expected result. Now, as I said, Python will handle floating point numbers and floating point numbers are effectively numbers with decimal points. So let's go ahead and put in a number with a decimal point and we'll say 7.0, or actually let's make that 7.4. And then let's go ahead and use the type function to make sure that we're actually returning the correct data type. So let's go ahead and execute this. And there, take a look at that. Now it shows float. So once again, this built-in function is very useful. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get rid of this type and we'll go ahead and re-execute this. And we got exactly what we expected. Our decimal point is returned. And let's go ahead and just put in a negative number to make sure that works as well. And it did. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we will continue on with numerics.